I am struggling. This is their child, not their nose, okay? So I, I don't know what to say here. And today I'm gonna to be trying a recipe from Tasty. If you've been online at all, then you've probably seen a snippet of, at least a snippet of a Tasty video. They do all types of recipes, from desserts to dinners to lunches, quick tips. They even have their own cookware set now. I found this video on Twitter, a quick video, um, showing you four different ways to do homemade pretzels. And I thought, man, of course the first way is very long and drawn out, but I chose two of the recipes on there. They're both stuffed pretzels. One is garlic parmesan and the other is pepperoni or a piece of, it's a piece of pretzel. Just call me Rachel Ray because we're going to do it here in Nay's Kitchen. <laughs> sorry if you hear my cats playing in the background. Sorry if you hear my Instant Pot in the background. Um, my cats are playing and I'm cooking chicken parmesan on the side in my Instant Pot. Hopefully this takes no more than 20 minutes. I already got my oven preheated to 425. I get, you know me, I get right off of work and get right into cooking. If you haven't seen my other cooking video, I was trying um, HelloFresh um, meals. So I'm gonna link that in the cards above. And let's get started because I am starting. <laughs> this one is more like the one they used in the video. This one is more like um, fancy looking to me. So I have my dough, I have my pepperoni for the pepperoni um, pizza, for the pizza pretzel, minced garlic, butter, two types of cheeses. So I have my mozzarella and my Parmesan. And then I also have some chopped up parsley down here, ready to go, fresh parsley. And then I also have some marinara left over from my um, chicken Parmesan that I'm making right now. I'm gonna start with my pizza dough stretch it out they stretch it out all right then they cut it into strips pizza should I use a pizza cutter for this Okay, then they take and fill it each up, each one up with, um, man, I should really do these long ways. <laughs> Had to switch the angle up on you because I was not liking it. They didn't brush this with butter just yet. Oh shoot, should I have stretched it out horizontally first, like the other way? It's not staying either. <laughs> it's going right back. Oh no, I'm gonna just do what I think is right, I guess. It's funny because Tasty is known for like easy, quick at home meals. And I'm struggling right now. Is it because of my nails? Maybe I put too much cheese in y'all. Maybe I didn't stretch it out enough. All right, I think I got my stuffed mozzarella in there. Now I'm gonna try to stretch out this one before I work with it. Oh, I broke it, no! Maybe I should join it again. Join it with this one. <laughs> Cause maybe the one I picked is too skinny. And I'm taking so long that the bread is starting to feel a little dry. This is hard. And y'all, in the video, they made like a good amount. Like they made a couple, a good like dozen of these pretzels on one tray. I'm trying to figure out how. Do you think I could fix this one? Just trying to see if I can stretch it a bit and get a bit more space in the middle so that way I'm not struggling so much to put all this cheese in hopefully it's not completely messed up oh this method is kind of working you kind of create a boat and make it sit in there and then close it up that's working out all right all right 
I think I got me a little technique going on here. So let me put these, <laughs> look at this extra long one. Maybe I'll cut this in half and do a couple mini ones. Do some mini ones and switch it up a bit. Just, just, just a little bit. Switch it up a bit. You know, I just thought of something. With all this cheese I'm eating from the garlic parmesan to the stuffed pre pretzels, um, I'm going to be on the toilet. <laughs> I am about to be spending the entire night in the bathroom. This is going to be great. So what do they do? I think they do an extra twist like this and then come down. <laughs> Wait, I don't think I have it long enough. Like this. Okay, so twist it like this and then down. Okay, that's gonna be a really mini one. <laughs> Supposed to twist it like so and then twist it downward. But mine isn't big enough. <gasps> and it's split open! I might have to make this like a pretzel knot or something. <laughs> when in doubt, improv, okay? All right, twist. Down, ooh, that one was good. Y'all look at that. Stuffed pretzel knot? Okay. Twist it around town and bring it down. <laughs> it looks like a bow. So for the butter, we're gonna put some of this parsley with some minced garlic. Throw that in there. See, I probably could use a bit more butter, but I don't have that many pretzels, so I'm going to leave it. Okay, so I'm going to have three garlic parmesan ones. <laughs> Why is there so much parsley on this one? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. Can you tell? Top with some parmesan cheese. Because the mozzarella wasn't enough, apparently. I just had the worst time opening this package, y'all. Pepperoni. And mozzarella. And those are my garlic, parmesan, and pizza pretzels going in. 20 minutes later. So here I am trying my pizza pretzel and my garlic parmesan pretzel, both stuffed. I think it came out really good looking. Doesn't really look like pretzels, but that's my fault. <laughs> I don't really know what a pretzel is supposed to look like, but other than that, I think it looks absolutely gorge. Paired it with some marinara sauce, because it just seemed right. I think I want to rip apart my garlic knot first. No, I think I want to do the big pizza first. Okay. I gave it a little bit of time to cool down too. Bruh. Mm. I guess I didn't put that much um, cheese on the inside, even though I felt like I put a lot of cheese on the inside. Maybe I put too much cheese in, y'all. You can taste the mozzarella inside, it's just not that stringy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And you could get really full off this too, because it's a lot of bread, but I think I'm gonna try to rip open my garlic knot now. Hopefully, it's more cheesy than it looked uh, than the other earlier one. Mm. 
Nope. Oh, well, let's see. Mm. Nope. Sheesh, it's like I barely put cheese in here. No. No real pull effect. I got a little bit of cheese sticking out here, though. Garlic Parmesan knots. Different flavor for profile for sure. Um, I think the confusing part is the inside since they're both mozzarella. I'm almost like played out, like I'm like I'm, my taste buds are trip, tripped out. Tastes like a twist on biscuits. <laughs> Even though I used the pizza dough, it tastes just like a twist on biscuit. Like I, I fancied up some biscuits. But still very good. I don't want to eat too much because I have chicken parmesan waiting for me. But I do want to take this pizza, the pizza um, pretzel that I have left in there and pack it for lunch tomorrow. Because this is, I'm feeling myself getting really full already. But yeah, I did it. Very simple, quick, simple, very easy. I'm sure you could come up with all types of different ideas with the, the biscuit um, dough or the pizza dough that comes in the, in the stores pre-made. I'm sure you could come up with all types of different recipes. Experiment a bit, see what you can do with it, you know? I mean, the ingredients were very easy to get. The only the hardest part was putting it together, I think. But if you do something simple or you don't want it stuffed, I'm sure you could come up with the same exact flavor, the um, flavor profile. Comment down below if you would try this at home, which I'm encouraging you to, because we we on they try things are open-minded and free-spirited. But thank you so much for watching me try things as usual. If you're new and you wanna be my friend, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you don't miss anything or anytime I post any giveaways. Make sure you check out my socials, which are somewhere on your screen and down in the description below. And if you wanna check out the music by Koji Productions, it's gonna be in the description below as well. Don't forget to be open-minded and free-spirited and I will see you all next time. Bye, friends! Food in my belly. Mm. Food in my belly. Happy dance. Mm -mm. That food in my belly. Uh, uh. Happy dance. Hey. <laughs>